30. Thank you so much for joining us on Brian Duffy. And I'm Catherine Bosley, and this is kind of exciting. We begin mm -hmm. this half hour talking about that breakfast many of you are making right now or eating right now. That's right. We've got a very special guest. We'd like to welcome Chef Dan Coudreau, the Senior Director of Culinary Innovation. There he is for McDonald's. Chef Dan is here to talk about making healthy meals for families. And Chef Dan, you're going to show us an easy example for breakfast in the morning for people that need to get breakfast quick, but they want a healthy option, right? They do. So here's an option for uh, oatmeal that maybe you haven't tried before. We've all had hot oatmeal at McDonald's. We have oatmeal ourselves. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're here talking about our banana nut oatmeal, uh, blueberry banana nut oatmeal, oatmeal that we just recently launched. So that's if you don't, what you have at McDonald's. That's what is, we have at McDonald's. So delicious. if you don't have it, uh, time at home to make what we're making today, but this is visit the, us, we'll have it for you. Orange right. scented? This is orange scented. It's more of a, like a muesli, a cold oatmeal. So Ooh. we make it with yogurt. I'm making it with uh, rolled oats here. And then I'm also going to add some raisins, some walnuts, and a little bit of vanilla. And then I'll show you a trick with the, uh, the orange here. This is a microplane zester, and this is going to get the orange zest off ah, of the oatmeal. So a little oh. bit of this is going to give it a really nice, fresh flavor. Now the 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 point that I'm at right now, you can make this the night before and keep it in the refrigerator, and it would set up real nicely. And then the next day, you pull it out, you add a little bit of milk to it, and finish it off. So and so, it's a, so it's a great time saver. It's on a great top time of saver. Else. Now and another cold. thing, cold, it's chilled. Yeah, it's chilled. It's so it's a nice summertime. It's a nice summertime uh, breakfast. Here I'm going to do an apple. This is kind of fun. This is an, a unique way to get the core out of an apple. Cut it in half. I'm going to cut it into quarters. And then I'm going to try and get that out by just an angle cut on the apple. So it's a nice, fast way to get all the seeds out of the apple. So then this is going to go into the oatmeal as well. I usually cut a couple fingers off. As you yeah, cut well, a couple I'm, of fingers. I'm dangerous there yeah. for sure. <laughs> I've, done that. I've done that before. Hopefully now, not we, today though. Now we should tell you that Chef Dan is the man behind many of the very healthy options that McDonald's is now offering. And uh, right. so you've got to be excited about that too. I am excited about that. I mean, you know, there's a place for McDonald's fries and burgers and everything, but we're balancing out our menu, making sure that everybody has choices when they come into our restaurant. Right. So, sure. Right. Very sure. important. So the oatmeal is a, a big um, a big seller for us right now. The, uh, the new blueberry one is beautiful. It's got fresh blueberries and mm -hmm. walnuts and dried bananas within the uh, oatmeal. So you just kind of started playing around with oatmeal to see what, what you can come up with here. And, uh, we did. So what, we, uh, we lead a team back in uh, Chicago that's uh, focused on the, all sides of the menu, whether it's beverage or breakfast or, or, um, or entrees and lunch. Uh, breakfast is a big business of ours and oatmeal, we launched uh, oatmeal about a year and a half ago and when hmm. we first launched it, it actually sold more than Egg McMuffin. All right, so we, are we are you just almost done that, here? That's, that's just about done. So that goes in the refrigerator. So this would go, cool. This, the 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 point of before I put the milk in, that could be in the refrigerator overnight, and then the next day you add the milk, put it in, and then what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to plate this up. This is going to set a little bit. It's a little bit soupier now because we're doing it fast right. for TV. Right. But this would be a little bit thicker, and then what I'm going to do is. So you can actually make enough of this to last for a couple of days. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I worked in hotels, and that's what we would do. Yeah. We'd make it the night before. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, Chef Dan. We're a little pressed for time okay. here, so that just goes right in the in the refrigerator. Right in there. Oh, and wonderful. And you got it in the morning. And we'll Looks put a little like bit a of drizzle of, of honey if you oh, prefer. Oh. Perfect. A dessert breakfast. <laughs> yeah, you, know. <laughs> you gotta love that. All right. Thanks, so, Chef Dan. Thank you for having us. We appreciate us. it. Appreciate it. Thank All you. Right. Okay. Now you can find the recipe for orange scented chilled oatmeal in the scene on section of 19actionnews.com. That's right. Looks okay. good. Now, a cool morning outside so far. Let's head on over to Jason Hammond. He's got your first alert forecast. Well, forget the recipe. I'll just go there and buy it, right? No, they don't that have that. That would be a disaster. They have the blueberry banana. banana. It'd be a disaster if I made it myself. No one should let me near the kitchen. All right, we'll take a look at your forecast on a cool... That's the bottom line. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to get a little rain. Aren't we? Yes, it's coming overnight tonight into tomorrow. Catherine, we had the McDonald's here mm -hmm. showing us healthy oatmeal. Yes. And you bring in cookies, and I'm seeing there's candy behind <laughs> she, she just brought me a bunch no. of candy. I didn't do that. <laughs> Thanks for eating, watching Catherine. this morning. 19 Action News continues on WUAB My 43 The Block. Make it a great Thursday. All in moderation, Jason. Hey, folks, it's a wizard of heart.